today on Bill. My wife is not happy. She thinks I'm a fat slob. I'm so scared that one day I'm gonna wake up and he's gonna be dead lying next to me. Who sits on drink, the couch all the time? Who does not want to get up? You're gonna pay the bills when I have a heart attack because you're not helping. They fat and nasty. Paul says that she smells like what? Dead dog. You love me. You should be happy not talking about me. I'm trying to help no, you. I love my way. I love you, but I want you to lose Who's that. Right now. And thanks for watching. It's becoming harder and harder to make the right choices when it comes to food and drink. It seems that at every turn there's a cheeseburger, a chicken wing, a chocolate chip cookie staring us right in the face. My guests today say it's hard enough to resist that temptation, but the outrageous insults hurled at them by their supposed loved ones are making things more difficult. Take a look at this. My name is Mike, and I weigh 460 pounds. I gained about 240 pounds in the last five years, and my wife is not happy. She thinks I'm a fat slob. How many cookies did you take? Oh, man, stop. She is so disgusted by me that we stopped having sex. Get out of here, man. Come here, give me a kiss. Nope. She's always on my case for eating the wrong foods. Hey, punk, what you doing? You know, those are my cookies. And for busting out of my clothes. I've gotten so big that everyday things like putting on my socks are getting harder and harder to do. I know I need to lose weight, but she needs to loosen up. Please welcome Michael's wife, Lindsay, to the show. Lindsay, how you doing? All right. What has changed in the last uh, two or three or four years with Michael's fantastic weight gain? What has changed in your marriage? Truthfully, our sex life. Um, we can't even go out. We can't go to theme parks. We can't even go to the movies. He doesn't fit in the chairs at all whatsoever. It's so like a regular movie house. He can't go watch a movie. Not at all. Not at all. Like, his, when he sits in the chair, he's really uncomfortable. He can't sit. Like, the, his, no, his chunk basically hangs off the sides. It's, it's really tight. Getting on an airplane. And getting on the airplane, sometimes I'm surprised they don't even charge him for extra sheets sometimes because of how big he is. What happens to the furniture at home, the chairs, the couches? Everything breaks. Uh, he actually bought me a chair two weeks ago, and the weight limit says um, 300 pounds. And he sat in anyways, and I told him not to. Within two minutes, the metal started bending out to the point where it flattened straight onto the floor. Do you have any idea of exactly what he weighs within 10 or 20 pounds at this point? What do you, what's your estimate? Maybe about 480, close to 500 pounds. If this doesn't change... What happens in your relationship with Michael? I'm walking out the door. You can't do it anymore. I can't do it. He won't get up out of bed. He won't pick out his own clothes. The closet's right next to our bed, and he won't get up to look for his clothes. He tells me to get up and try to find him a shirt or a pair of pants. And when you married him, you didn't buy into this. He no. changed. He changed so much. He's gotten really lazy. And if he goes into the living room, he'll be like, oh, get me a different shirt. This one doesn't fit well. I'm like, well, why don't you get up? Why don't you go look for a shirt? Because if I bring you out the wrong shirt, then you're not going to wear it. You're going to tell me to go pick out something else for you. And you want to have children. You want to have babies. I want to have kids. Yes, I, I really do. I'm 26. I don't have any kids at all whatsoever. And you want kids. Oh, definitely. I hope I, have, I can have triplets the first time around. <laughs> but the intimacy, the... It's, it's gone. Enjoyment. There, there's nothing there. Like, I, I want to be able to feel the way I did the first time we got together. Happy, be able to go anywhere, not have a problem. I have people always look at me all weird, thinking that, like, they're giving him disgusting looks all the time. I actually get kind of embarrassed sometimes by being with him. I feel like I want to let go of his hand and kind of either walk behind him or walk in front of him. As if he's not uh, If he's not, not next to me or near me. You get emotional about this, don't you? Yeah, very it's much. Hard. It's It hurts me. Because that's it, not the it guy. It breaks my heart because um, I'm just scared that one day I'm gonna wake up and he's gonna be dead lying next to me and I'm not gonna know what to do at all whatsoever. It hurts. I don't want to lose him. You've lost him in a sense. You, I've you, lost a lot. You lost the guy that you married. Yeah. Have you tried? What have you done to say, Michael, in a loving way, do this, don't do that? Does he blame you a little bit? He blames me all the time. What, what does he say? Why does he blame you? He tells me that. Oh, it's because of your cooking. And I try to bake things. I try to saute it. I try not to use anything like grease or oil. And the worst thing is, is that half the times I cook it, he's like, oh, I don't want this. Or I don't want it cooked like this. I want it fried. Everything has to be fried to him. 
And I don't want to all the time. The, the whole Constantly. life is consumed. At no Constantly. point. Constantly. It's like every five minutes. It's like we always fight, and then it gets to the point where I have to insult him and call him a butterball just for him to get up and actually move. It's really hard. Honey, what do you want to see happen today? I what want him want? to either lose the weight or I'm going to walk out the door. You can't take it anymore. I can't. I really can't. He needs to hear it from you. Please welcome Lindsay's husband, Michael, to the show. Michael, come on. Victim is sitting here crying in front of these people. Are you, How you serious? Doing, How you doing, Michael? Oh. Are you sitting here playing a victim? Are you I serious? ask you some simple, real simple stuff. Make a decent meal, a fully proportioned meal. Don't bring soda in the house. You know I don't drink, I don't smoke. My only addiction is drinking soda. What do you do? I'm thirsty. Bring in a 12 pack of soda. How am I supposed to sit here and lose weight when you know damn well if I go to the refrigerator, I'm gonna take the soda over the water, but you keep bringing it. And I give you soda, water over soda. the soda. Who wants that? If you want to meet a really lose weight, you put some juice or something healthy in there. You leave the soda in there and outside. Yeah. You know what? Bring it into the house. I sell soda. If I can go all day selling soda around the whole city. Wait, Michael, you're blaming her for your weight? Does she hold your mouth open and jab down the Coke or the Pepsi? Yeah. Okay. Is that her fault? Okay. Everybody, yeah, not my fault. No. I try to give you food. I try to give you the food. No. You no. don't like it. You choose not to eat it. How is that my fault? Everybody has their I'm addiction sorry. in life. Who sits People on drink. the couch all People the time? Who drugs. does not want to get up? Soda. I sell huh? soda all day. If you I can go all day ever around the whole city and not drink you soda, you always tell I'll me to get thing. your clothes. Don't put a cold You're in, in the, the living room all the time. Who who gets your clothes? You who puts clothes. on your socks? Who gets you dressed every morning for you to go to work? Who pays I the bills? Do. You don't. Who's gonna pay the bills when I have a heart attack because you're not helping me? You're. <laughs> Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna really? take care of you then? Then there's gonna be nobody. Michael, what, what does she call you? What does she call you? I mean, she calls me names. I need her to change. Like what? What? You know. You know, all kind of slob, names. slob. Because Hippo. I try to be exactly. nice and that don't work. And she you. says these words. She How says, does it make you feel? Me. Now, other times I want to go and make love to my wife. She's like, no, she's not giving it to me. She wants to say, you can't get on top of me. You squish me. Then when I say, okay, you get on top of me. If I tell her to get on top of me, then she starts arguing with me. Uh, uh, why don't I always got to be on top? We can't always. go to Six Flags. We can't go here. We can't go to the movies. But no, when I say I want to go do something decent. Does she embarrass you in public? And in public, when we're walking together, she walks away from me. She'll walk like five, six feet ahead of me. And then, or if I start, but if I start crossing the street without her, she'll be like, "You're How walking away from me." What happened at the family reunion? I'm going to sit down at the table. The table was too big. I was too, I'm too big to fit inside the table. There's a table and a bench. I go to sit on it, and my stomach kind of came across it. It was uncomfortable, so I switched positions. At a point, I ended up falling from the chair. Now, anytime we go near a bench or we go into a restaurant where the chairs are connected, she's like, table, extra pull-out chair space. <laughs> are you, she embarrasses you in public and with your family? All the time. This are you why. worried about her cheating? She's a 26-year-old attractive woman. Are you a little bit concerned about her seeking affection in the I, arms of another I man? I am, because if she's not getting it from me, she's like going to, you know, maybe want to get it from somebody else. Honey, is that possible? And I love her. I want to have kids. Lindsay? I'm not going to do that to him. It'd have be have too you cheated heartbreak. on him? No, I haven't. You have not? No. And you've not cheated on her? And you love each other? You love that man? Yes, You were separated a bit. We did separate what a few times. What happened during the separation? Um, I went to my mom's and I stayed at my mother's. Because of the tension and the anger and the argument. It, it's, just, it's just a constant fight all the time. And I just get so aggravated with it. I just Sometimes I feel like I just can't take it. Michael, you weren't born this way. Something happened a couple of three years ago. Why did you put on more than 200 pounds in the last two or three years? When we started having a lot of arguments and fighting and separating, I would kind of like binge eat. The whole time Comfort that we're together, food. I would just... Food was medicine because th this is you uh, two and a half years ago, that picture. That's, uh, shall I say, an average looking guy. So what happened? Was it the tension that you blame on Lindsay that caused you to eat? Do you blame her for the soda pop that you drink? And for the tacos that you consume and the hamburgers? Because at the end of the day, it's your life, Michael. It's not her life. It's up to you. You're right, Mike. All right. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't fully blame her. I don't fully blame her, but I'm saying there's, the some, tension. There's, some, the there's tension. some things that can make it easier. Like, number one thing is I don't overly consume a whole lot of food during the course of the day. My number one thing is drinking soda. How many sodas do you drink a day? Oh, as many as is there. 12? Oh, probably about a 12-pack a day. 12-pack a, a day. 
more like so three you drink or four like four thousand sodas a month four thousand twelve a day well i sell soda so it's kind of cheap you take it all take a lot of soda yes is that the problem more than her or does she cause you to drink that many sodas she calls me or texts me baby i'm thirsty please bring home some soda I and say, you know can we what? bring home something else? So I bring you know home the soda. I you just can't even say that. about soda anymore, because technically I bought the little soda machine for myself, and I only make like lemonade or pink lemonade During out of it. July, I stopped I have a, buying a soda because like a brother, of you. I have a guy who's like, we have Michael's sister and father coming up. Stay right there. <laughs> this weighty battle continues. Blood is bigger than wine. That's, that's, that's your rose machine. Blood is bigger than wine. That's your rose machine. Today's all about loved ones that are morbidly obese. Before we go any further, Michael, I, you're 31, Lindsay, you're 26. I sense you want to be a father. You want to live a long life. You want to see your kids grow. You want to see your grandkids grow. You want it all. The course that you're on, do you understand, is not going to get you there? I do. And that blaming her for your problem or exacerbating or aggravating his problems by what words that you use, th this is the problem. If you're more loving and supporting and if you're more accepting, and owning your difficulty, I think you two have a future. But this has got to change. Otherwise, we're in trouble. You're in trouble, right? Right. 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 So, do you say to him, I shouldn't use hippo, slob, butterball? Butterball. <laughs> and on the other hand, you shouldn't say, You're making me drink. You're making me eat. The fact that you're selling soda doesn't mean you have to consume it, right? Right. In other words, you two together can solve a problem, but you can't do this all the days of your marriage, otherwise you're done. And you have some history with this, right? Yes, sir. Your, your father. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Before we get to Michael Sr., please welcome Michael's sister, Nikki, to the show. Nikki, come on out. You caused this. Okay? I didn't you cause caused it. You did. No, no. I, I explain I, to me. Star. Star. Explain to me, Nikki. You, know, you need to start. You don't look like you missed any meals, but nonetheless, regardless, because I don't eat yes, every time yes, we fight, yes, every yes, time we argue. I can't eat. I can't eat. But so we do. You know why? You know why you caused this? Why you helped cause this? Because it's a joint effort. But you, if you love him. Like you claim you love him, you wouldn't cheat on him. You wouldn't call him names. First off, I you never cheated on him. I am speaking. I don't give you should not. I should what? Be. I you, should not what? If you shut up, you'll hear it. I'm not gonna shut okay? up though. That's the issue. So yeah, because you no. don't, Nikki, I don't is she cheat cheating on him. him. As far as I know, she has cheated on him numerous no, times in the past, causing, no, no, causing him to have depression, and he turns to food for comfort. It's medicine okay? to him. It's medicine. Yeah, people get high. People drink alcohol. People do all types of stuff. He turns to food. It's How can you blame Lindsay for making him weigh 500 pounds? It's a combination. It's both of them. Okay? She is not willing to be the woman that she's supposed to be and help him lose weight. I tried to help okay? him. That's the problem. No. Yes, when, I have. When you, was you don't the last sit time there. You took a walk. When was the last time you took a walk with him? Um, let's see. Yesterday. Wait a minute. The day before that, that. To the store. How do you know was what's going on? the corner? You're a sister. How I do you know what's happening? I tried to walk out the door with the damn dog, and he talk. doesn't even want to come with me. How is that my fault? Talk. Michael How gives you hit. You're not living in a house. You don't know what's going on. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know what's going on. Even if we got to start little, son, even if we got to start small, me. because he says that it hurts him when he breathes. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But let's just walk down the block and back. And he doesn't even want to do that. He sits okay. on the couch. Five minutes later, he passes out on the couch sleeping. How because he's been out all day at work. Michael, why aren't you talking? He doesn't move like that. He doesn't move like that. Have you actually seen him? I've actually worked with him. I work with him. I move really? soda with no. him. But you I mean, see, how are you going to sit there and tell me? Michael, you're not there. You don't look, live with us. You're in Jersey. Listen, I see listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. Gonna... It's wrong for you to sit up here and call her, come here and talk to her about, you know, her cheating. If she's cheating or not. I don't know that she's cheating. I mean, you're why's the reason? You're a liar, because you've told me that Why's the reason? Cheating? How about your cheating? You say you're talking about how about just stuff that you do at home? How are you gonna say those phones are hurting? And you've been with my friends to strip party and have games all over my house. I'm sorry, that's not me. I did not leave. 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 I
working. If I'm not no, working, I can win. Him. Because I love so to So when eat. do I have time Period. to freaking but, cheat on him? But Let I me also know walk. That. The first thing, <laughs> the first thing he's got to lose is this 170 yeah, pounds. Absolutely. That's what, I don't think she weighs absolutely. 170 what pounds. I, I say 150 to 200 pounds. That's the first bit. How of does that you make you feel lose. that Nikki wants you away? I, have to, I, I don't understand ever see that. Her. She doesn't but come there around. There are people. And you don't really life. bother me at all that whatsoever. I mean, did you know that you don't? Do you think she's the only reason that I'm depressed and I'm stressed? And then she leaves with my niece and my nephew. Thank you. Which I haven't seen in two years. I got to see them one time because they came down for a family reunion. Yes, you get what I mean. Spend the night. Every time I come. Michael, you came on vacation to Florida. You came to Georgia. You came to Georgia. Spend the night. Spend money at a hotel instead of spending time at the house. Lindsay, hold on. So I can see my niece and my nephew. What's happening in the brother-sister dynamic? What is going on here? Because the only thing you know about this relationship is what Michael tells you. You understand that he maybe has a different perspective, not a full perspective of what's going on? You know what? You're absolutely right. There's always three sides to every At story. At least. And you only hear one side. Her side, her side, and the And truth. you took her... Michael, why are you and so I, upset? I, I, I mean, this is why you have, I mean, Nikki, hold on. Why from what she's saying, it's like it's only one reason that I'm depressed. It's only because no, of issues with me and Lindsay. It's not. How about this? Every time I come from, I come to Jersey, my dad is sick. He just had a uh, toe amputated. Mm -hmm. uh, he just had a leg recently amputated. Perfect timing. Time Michael, I, please welcome Michael Sr. to the show. Michael, how you doing? <laughs> Hi. Now, Michael... Michael Sr., you have battled weight issues your whole life, correct? True. Tell me what's going on in you and wh why these weight issues put you in a wheelchair. Diabetes. Talk to your son. What do you want to say to him? Well, you look at me. All right? I'm the blueprint of what you're going to be if you don't change. The weight will lead to diabetes, amputations, heart problems, eye problems. All man right. to man, father not, to rather, son, rather you've lost a leg with she's it. She's guilty or innocent of making you like you are. You're the one that puts the stuff in your mouth. She's not taking your hand and forcing it in. You have the option to say no. And Michael, you weighed over you 400 know? pounds at one point, correct? Oh, I weighed 360. Come on, Bill. 360. <laughs> <laughs> and you got diabetes. You lost uh, leg, had a toe cut off, you got other right. ailments, all attributable, and he might weigh 100 pounds more than that. And you know, it's in your blood, it's in your DNA to, to, to get diabetes because I have it, my mother had it, my grandfather had it. Michael, do you so want to end up like next. your dad? No. You know, if, what are you if, willing you to not, not to have that happen? I need to work on some better ways and eating better and, you know, staying away from the soda. That's, that's number one. That's number one. But the other thing... Let me tell you something. Go ahead, it's going to be hard for him to stay away from the soda because this is his business. He works with soda. He delivers a soda. I mean, he, you know, he sells it. Well, By choose between a job and your life, but let's face it. When you have an addiction, what you have to do is own your own addiction. Whether it's alcohol, drugs, sex, eating, you've got to own it. And don't project on others what they're doing to make you. Don't yeah. make you a victim. Take control. And really Nikki, are control. you helping? Or in other words, in this, your brother and you have a great relationship. And when he tells you one thing about this marriage, and then you undermine his relationship with her by confirming it, maybe you can step back a little bit, just a little bit. And Michael, you've got to step forward, man. Well, I'm trying to step forward. I'm trying to do better. If later in the show we give you a game plan, would you be encouraged maybe to accept it, yeah. Lindsay? Michael, you're the key here. If we give you a game plan later in the show, might you be willing to accept it? Of course. All right. I mean, I do want to have a girl. Uh, oh, you know. You got to have, have a baby. With my you wife, want a baby? With my wife, I want to be with my wife. I, I, we married each other for better or worse. I yeah. want to be with her until I die. Yeah. And hopefully not of a heart attack. All right. We're going to touch base with this family later on. Don't go away. A lot more coming up. I hope this actually gets through to him, and he actually decides to lose the weight. A battle over weight between sisters. I love you, girl. Okay, you love me. You should be happy not talking about me. I'm trying to help you. you. How no, you not? Is it tough love? That's why you gon' die. You gon' die because you need to lose really? weight. Or fat bashing. She just mean. She just awful. It's thing that she's a fat slob. Love watching from your couch. On today's show, family members are desperately trying to get their loved ones to lose weight because they weigh so much. Is it too late? We're about to find out. Please welcome Kiki to the show. Kiki, how you doing? All right. Hi, now, Kiki. You're concerned about two of your family members. What is it? Well, one of them, they, they, they fat. 
they too big, they embarrassing, you know, so I love them, but I just want them to lose the weight, you know, but they won't listen. They're, they're two sisters, you love them, and they're only they like 31 them. and 26, yes. right? Yes. Well, let's take, let's take a look at this tape. Take a look at the tape. I have two sisters. They fat and nasty, and they just disgusted. I got one sister that's so fat that she broke her bed frame. She got to sleep with her mattress on the floor. She's just so fat, she just broke her own toilet seat. This is my oatmeal pies. This is what I eat at night. This is my honey buns that I all eat through the day. My other sister eats so much and big, she went about a refrigerator and put a lock on it. My sister is over 300 pounds, and they is an embarrassment to our family. Now, all she do is eat, eat. It just makes me sick. How is you going to die? You can't say that. Will you please help me, Bill? Because I really do want them to lose weight before it gets too late, and they die. They need, their kids need them around here, Bill. Please, please, just help me. Kiki, we're going to try to help. So you've called your sister Leona gross, fat, and disgusting, correct? Yes, I have. And you said those exact words to her. The exact words. And you also said she smells like what? Oh, dead dog. Dead dog. A dead dog. Tell me her eating habits. Like in the morning, take me, Leona, from the time she gets up to the time she goes to bed. What happens? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. What does she eat? Pork chops. Pork chops. Chicken. She Chicken. don't know what breakfast is. She goes right to dinner. She goes straight to dinner. And I be trying to tell her not to do that because she killing herself. You know what I'm saying? And then she already got hip problems. She got it. She on the oxygen mask. She can barely breathe. So she puts on the mask? She don't use it because she feel like she don't need it. In her mask, she weighs 250 pounds. But and she eats six times a day? Mm-hmm. Six times if a day? If I go to a buffet with her, I have to tell the other people to go get their food because it ain't going to be none left. <laughs> being real, but I love her, you know what I'm saying? Because that's my oldest sister. And you love Leon. I love her today. You want her to get better. I really do. She got three beautiful kids that need her. All right. Please welcome Kiki's sister, Leona, to the show. Leona, come on up. Have a seat, honey. What kind of things does she say that hurt you? She just mean. She just awful. It's things that it's she's a fat slop. To be real with you, she look when at was, her. I was at a beach. Just look at her. Do she weigh 250 pounds to y'all? I ain't really? never say I was. In her I mind. I never say I was. In her mind. I ain't I'm never say I was. Are you helping or hurting by these words? I'm trying she's to hurting. help her. She's hurting because she trying was helping. To encourage if, her you to was lose helping weight. if you was helping me, you won't be up and talking about me. You'd be encouraging me to lose weight. Instead, you trying to make you, me feel like I'm Why you gon' die? You gon' die because you need to lose really? weight. Yes. Okay. Yes. Did okay. she sleep no, with I'm one not. of your? Did she sleep? Yes, with, she did. She, she did. sleep with one of your boyfriends? Yes. What Who happened? Who is your boyfriend that she I did. slept with? Yes, she did. Who? No names here. They're not here. Tell me about the beach incident. What happened at the beach? I was at the beach and I had a baby suit on. I had a baby suit on. She told, she had tell everybody piece. to look at me. Had a two-piece It was not a two-piece. It looked like one. It was not a two-piece. It looked and she like had told one. everybody to look at me. Look, look at that f She, her butt hanging out. Well, and you know not to go to no bitch like that. looked at me. Well, you knew you, that was embarrassing, baby. Straight embarrassing. And then she's so embarrassed. She, she's so rude. She had my kids even calling me fat. In front of your kids? Yes. She had my kids even calling me how, fat. How old are the kids? How old? My kids is four, nine, and eight. See, they know enough. Let me ask you, Kiki. You shouldn't do that in front of those children. It she ain't don't that care. I'm doing she it in front of the care. kids. She if they care. be there at the time that I she come there, care. so therefore, I'm trying to encourage my sister. I You're encouraging the wrong way. She's me. sick already. So why Honey, eat? Have you tried to lose weight or you think? Yes, I'm trying to lose weight. 
I don't try to think you're good the way you are. I like my weight. You like it? You like it? Yes. How much do you weigh? About two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Do she look good? There's another sister coming up. We're going to find out more when we continue. Stay right there. Another sister comes out swinging. No. You sit out here and you want to say that I don't have a man. I've been in a relationship committed for eight years. And he talks about you. But Kiki keeps on hitting back. Baby, Today's about obese relatives and how we can help. To give another example of what's going on, Kiki, talk about the car story. What happened with the car and your sister? Well, one day she asked my cousin to take her to her doctor's appointment. So my cousin was like, all right. But when she got in the car, the tie got on flat. But I had to come out my pocket. I had to come out my pocket to pay flat. for my cousin's car. And I, I'm not the one broke that car, though. She broke what in the car? The tire. How can How you break, break a tire? The, tire? the tire? The tire, tire you got on flat. The tire went flat when she got in the car? Yes. She blew out the car tire? Yes. Oh, my God. It's not just Leona we're concerned yeah. about. One more sister's you... involved. Please welcome LaShondra to the show. LaShondra, Thank come on out. It's not okay for you to talk to her like that before I even get to me. Well, you fat too. Oh, how you gonna sit there and tell me I can't fine. talk about her, but I talk about you too, you though. You sit out here and you want to say that I don't have a man? I've been in a relationship committed for eight and years. And he talks about children. you. I have he three talks children about by the same you. men. How many kids do you have and how many different men are you? Now, we're not here talking about Kiki's Thank sexual you. appetite. We're here talking about weight. No, that, that wasn't what my point. What kind of things did you hear? Is, you hear? I don't have a man eight years committed, loves me, ain't never said nothing bad about me. What do your men do? So apparently there's something wrong with you. Trust me, baby. Yeah. Nothing wrong with me. And this ain't got nothing to do with me. This got something to do with you and her. No, no, no. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. It's you. You need to change your approach. No. That's We're, a good No, never that. And you know me better than that. I would that, never do that. Now, hold on, honey. Hold on. Hold on. Chandra, let me say this. Kiki, this is the, okay. too much. Is, look at me, honey. Is the approach you're taking working? No. How about trying something different? Then? I need to yeah, know that. In other words, if you call her really? fat, if you Who call her a queen? double, you can't do that and get the result that you want. The strategy is have them yeah, lose weight. What you're doing is hurting what you're intending. Tell her well, I'm not trying to know. Well, you are. Well, you are. Well, you are. You are. Well, 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 you are. the table but can you say that i can do whatever i want but can to do. you say First that of all, number one but i'm a grown say woman that? i pay my own bills you do nothing for me Still, you do you need nothing to... for me that's fine when i feel like losing weight i will Encourage us instead of talking about us putting us down. Don't say that, yeah. You mean, 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 you Sadly, you lost a baby to SIDS. Is that fair to say? How painful was that for you? Um, 
That's really what made her. And is that when you that started crap. gaining some weight? Is that when that happened? Here, honey. Here, honey. Is, is that when something happened? I understand. Tell me what happened. I have, um, I have three children now, so it, it's a little bit easier, but... It's not it. I miss him. It's not the same. Did you start gaining some weight when that happened? Yeah. yeah. Is that the event? Um, yeah, my... It's not like you don't care about yourself anymore. No, you... it's not that what at all. It? I would love to be able to run after my seven-year-old and not have my seven-year-old have to run after my two-year-old because I can't do it myself. I know I need to lose weight, but, like... She don't have to be mean about it, you know what I, I know. mean? Her, her yeah. words are like weapons. <laughs> Kinky, do you understand? Exactly. Your words are like weapons that cut and bruise and hurt instead of words that encourage. Well, when I try to encourage them, it don't help. Let's you try something different. Because, because we have to what what do it. It doesn't matter what you say, how you say it, where you say it let at. Me, let me say this, ladies. You, you both recognize you got, to a, do you got a problem. We have some right. experts, specialists coming up. We're going to throw you a rope, and hopefully you'll pull yourself in. Yeah. Stay right there. We'll continue. Yeah. If you love watching from your couch, wait until you see us live. For your free tickets to a taping in New York City, go to our website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425. Family members furious at their obese loved ones. Disgusted. Look at this. So, you I love you my weight. I love my weight. I love you, but I want you to lose that. So, and distressed. I don't want him to either lose the weight or I'm going to walk out the door. You can't take it. I can't. I really can't. You know, there's an old proverb that says the greatest wealth is health. And here to help my guests achieve wealth is Dr. Steve Salvatore. Doctor, how you doing? Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Dr. Steve, you've been watching and yeah. listening. What do you see going on in this dynamic here? Well, you know, what I see, unfortunately, is a lot of medical problems in the future that they don't see. But what I don't think they realize is the psychological that's tied to it. This is more than just a physical problem. This is a psychological problem. This is a problem between the ears. It also involves the mouth and the food that they're And eating. family members love their other family members or husbands. They love each other, but the way they express the love drives these individuals back into food instead of coming out. Right, because this is frustration. Because they've tried the other stuff, they try the simple stuff, and then they get angry and it builds up. And then they go and they try and do that tough love. And what this, that causes on this side is these people then say, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to win. You're not going to bully me. And I'm not even going to let you win. I'll exactly. show you. Exactly. exactly. I'll get heavier. I'll show you. Exactly. Dr. Steve, talk directly to Michael. Yeah. about his difficulty. Okay, so I want to go over to Michael because I want to show you guys a couple of things that I brought. So these are skin calipers. And we use these to measure fat. So we can calculate body fat composition. But you can notice something. And you take little pinches on different parts of the body with this. These only open this far. So what happens when you go to take a belly measurement? you mind if I touch on I can't even get it. See? It's too big. So already, it's like off the charts. So this is useless. And that's the problem for you. You have to accept that and understand that's how serious you are. And I could do it to all three of y'all and be the same way. And there's no, and there's no, and you also have a measuring device, correct? Yeah, so just a tape measure. So do me a favor, Michael, stand up for me if you don't mind. Yes, no, don't do that. No. So, well, well, we're just going to give an idea for his waist circumference. <laughs> for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to tell you the number. That's not what's important. That's right. That's right. What's important here, watch this. That's what's dramatic here. And that's what people don't realize. The tape is actually as long as his height. Aww. And it's, it's, it's not to give him a hard time, but Michael, you're a ticking time bomb medically. If you don't have a stroke or a heart attack, you're going to get cancer. Because so obesity is tied to cancer. Let me ask you this, Michael, because I, well, Dr. Steve, Michael Jr., take a look at Michael Sr. That is you in the next 20 years. You don't want to be there. You want to be. You want to be a father. You want her to. You want. We want to make her a mother. Correct. Right. Yes, I do. I want to have, you know, children with this beautiful woman, and, you know, I want to live healthier. How do they do it, Doc? How do well, they do it? Well, you know, it, it starts first of all getting the head right, because it's not going to work if the head's not right. It's not at this stage. It's not going to matter. You're okay. at the point now 
where people would consider you for bariatric surgery, you know that weight loss surgery? Because your risk of dying is so great with this weight that that's a better solution than anything else. But just a 10%, here's a good part, a 10% reduction in your weight will make a dramatic difference in your health. Just 10%. Dramatic. Are so, each of you three yeah. willing and ready to take steps to change things? Yes. Up next is a fitness expert. It's going to get everybody moving and grooving, and I mean everybody. Stay right there. Woo! Are you overweight and are sick and tired of getting picked on by your spouse or loved one to shed some pounds? Maybe I can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Closed captioning of The Bill Cunningham Show is provided. You know, today my guests have been battling it out over their loved one's weight issues. But in the end, we all want the same thing. Overweight guests to get the help they need. Here to help start them down the road of health is celebrity trainer and the creator of the anti-aging walking workout DVD, Nikki Fitness. Nikki, how you doing? All right. Now, we mentioned this briefly, and that is exercise, about walking. It begins with a step. They're not going to be running marathons. You're not triathletes yet, right? But it begins with a walk. So how do we begin the path to fitness for these three good people? Well, I want to ask, you know, if you don't have half an hour a day to work out, even just walking, do you have an hour, 10 hours a day to be sick in bed? Do you have your whole life to be in a casket? You don't want to be putting yourself in that situation where you're choosing between your life and your death. So really, you know, you're never as young as you are today. So let's get started now. Show us what has to okay, happen. Okay, so some Nikki of the things fitness. you can even do this at home. Audience, get up. Even if you're sitting at home watching this on TV, just stand right up. We're all Everybody, just stand up. If you're at home, stand up. Let's go. So a walking workout starts with just marching in place, getting warmed up, just march it out. And we're going to add something to this. So we're going to march for four and then sit down and stand back up. So it's like a squat, but you're using your chair. And you can put your hands Come on, down, Michael. too. Come on, Michael. Are we ready? Let's sit down. So it's down and up and march. It's four, three, Come on, two. One more time. It's down. You Leona, let's go, honey. And up. Let's go. Come on. And if you want to this time, hold your hands off the chair. Try a little more balance down and up. Good job. And then if you're super in shape, you can do it without Touching the chair. So don't you come touch down the chair, honey. without really touching and stand up. So those are three different levels. Next yeah. move, yeah. we're gonna do some knee ups. So knee ups, this works your abdominal muscles. And what we're gonna do is add knee some up. arms. So you're gonna do the same arm and turn come on. towards come your front on, leg. Nikki. This will get your heart rate up. And you guys, sweat is just fat crying. Look at it's it. just fat Nikki, crying. they can do this. They can do this. Look, keep going. See, you can do this, you do this for 20 Let's minutes go, and half an hour a day. You're working your biceps, you Come got on, it. Michael. Come on, Michael. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slightly turn towards the side. Put your arms straight out. Hold your hands and fists. And just bob them up and down. Just bob them up and down. Good. And now bend your feet so you're kicking your butt. Come on, Leona. Kick your butt, honey. Kick your butt. Right. So you're working. Kick your butt. Your shoulder your muscles. You're getting nice and toned, right? Yeah. Toned in that area up. So keep your arms up. And the longer you keep your arms up, you're going to start to feel it. You can do this. Lashonda, kick your butt with your heels. I can't reach my butt. Come on, reach your butt. So if you do moves like this, just turn around and let's march it out one more time and come back, take a breath. And if you just do this for 20 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour a day, all I have to say to you is walk, don't sit, because sitting is the new smoking. When we continue the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. It's time for you to take control and give my guests some tough love. How would you resolve the issue? Should Lindsay stay with Michael if he refuses to lose weight? Call me with your answer to 1-855-TELL-BILL. You hear what other viewers answered and receive some valuable offers. Take control and call 1-855-TELL-BILL. Right. You know, I hope today we've given our guests some tools to get healthy in a tough environment filled with love and support. But we have something else in store for uh, Michael, Leona, and LaShondra. Joining us via Google Chat from Hilton Head, South Carolina, is founder of Living Fitness and author of Fighting Monsters, Life Coach and Trainer to the Stars, Eric Viscovis. Eric, how you doing, man? You doing? All right, first of all, tell us about your facility in Hilton Head. Tell us what it is. 
our facility for the last 20 years has been helping athletes, but in addition to that, helping people that are obese lose weight. We do everything from feed you to we, there's massages that are included to five to seven hours of exercise. It's a, it's a life and mind restructuring, so to speak, Bill. Now, Eric, what gift are you willing to give to my three guests today that need help? What gift can you give them today? We're going to give them two weeks free at Hilton Head Island, all-inclusive food, everything, full stay for them to lose weight. Yeah. Eric, thank you very much, and my producers will be in touch with you and Hilton Head. God bless you, and thank you for changing their lives. So here's the bottom line. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, or a single squat, or a single jumping jack. You can do it. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. That y'all gonna be gone for two weeks, and I'm glad when y'all leave so y'all can get y'all joined on the store. And I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna be behind y'all 100%. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. Oh, I just can't say no, I'm not gonna be mean, but I would try to be nice in a nice well, way. Well, that's a good start. That's a so so. It's not all, it's not perfect. But by me being mean, I'm just trying to help y'all lose weight. That's not us losing weight. Did I lose a pound during the time you were being mean? You gained some pounds. You <laughs> asked the question. <laughs> you gained some pounds. But I love y'all, though. Y'all know okay. We love you, too. But